Happy Tuesday, everybody. Welcome to Wake Up Charlotte to Go. I'm Ben. This is Chris. You know us both. Um, <laughs> thanks for joining us on, on our little uh, web stream right here. This morning we were talking about something that we've honestly been talking about for the better part of the last two years. Yeah, can you um, believe it? I know. Uh, masks are, are coming off on public transportation across the Charlotte area, across uh, North Carolina, across the United States as well. Um, and it, it comes after a federal judge in Tampa uh, ruled that, that it could happen. And so it's being met by <laughs> mixed reviews by a lot of people. I think, you know, most people will tell you that they are very excited this has happened. It's been a long time coming. Um, there's those people, though, that, that are very nervous about this and, and still very nervous about the, the pandemic. And we know we have marginalized communities that, that, that um, have been disproportionately affected by this. So uh, a lot of people excited about it, a lot of people a little uneasy about the whole thing. No, yeah, completely understandable. Think about what our lives have been. When you saw somebody wearing a mask before 2020, right. it was like, oh, what are they doing? They must be a germaphobe. Now we're so accustomed to it. I remember when I first went to the grocery store, when that hurdle was lifted, you, you felt weird. You felt yeah. like you were doing something wrong. So I'm sure, especially at the airport, you're going to be feeling that. And uh, Richard Devane was out in full Richard status, and just right. interviewing everywhere. And it was exactly that split of what are you going to do here? Should I wear the mask? Should I not? So really, I think it's up to personal preference. But I think it's great that we now met this point that shows that we're getting further and further away from where we were two years right. ago. Right. Um, and we should say that, that this should apply to all public transit. Um, that should include buses, yep. light rail. We've not actually heard official word from cats if you're here in the Charlotte area. If you take the bus every morning, if you take the light rail or a streetcar, we believe it applies to, or it should apply to them, but they've not officially said one way or the other. So I'm sure you had a number of people getting on public transportation in cities across the country, country including Charlotte, that were like, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. So, yeah, it's it, a gray area, I think is the best thing, because at this point, some people are still requiring masks, some are not. So yeah. at this point, I, what I would do is if you have a purse, keep it with you, something in your pocket, maybe just as a side mask for uh, public transportation. Of course, we're trying to find out more information on that. But what do you think? That's why yeah. we're here. This is all a uh, public discussion on YouTube, Facebook, wherever you're watching us. Is this a big deal for you? I, I know me personally, um, being at the airport, you're wearing a mask for three, four, five, six, yeah. seven hours, depending on how long your flight is. And that can be a little nerve wracking for some people. So this is, I think, one of the biggest milestones we've hit with all this uh, releasing some of the mandates. Yeah, let's know. Are you, are you planning to still wear your mask? Are you relieved by this? Are you not? Um, Melissa already chiming in saying she's not flying anytime soon, but... Uh, her mask is going to stay on. I have family members and I need to try and mitigate the risk of COVID. Um, um, and Ruby's actually going to be joining us here momentarily. Um, Rubes, thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. So um, you were following reaction this morning. What, what were folks saying? Yeah, so basically on Facebook, when we posted this on social media last night, People were saying, hey, a judge with some common knowledge and then awesome. Now it's time to start traveling. But on Twitter, different story. People are not saying that similar sentiment. Um, people are saying, tell us you don't care about our health without telling us you don't care about our health. And then cool, I'm not flying your airline. I'll find one that still protects its employees and passengers. United Airlines, Delta, they posted uh, announcements soon after um, the, the full thrust of everything was announced. One person saying this is horrifying and then another, will you provide provide funds, refunds to travelers who bought tickets thinking that making uh, masks will be required on flights. Um, they didn't know. Like this morning, Richard, we were talking to him on live and he was basically saying a lot of people didn't know as they were coming through the airport. A lot of people didn't know. So it was kind of up in the air. But overall on social media, it's different mixed reactions. But it's been that way since day one with the pandemic. Everybody has been feeling their way about it. So I think as we continue to learn new details about masks in general, people are still going to do what they want to do at this point. You did, a, you did a Twitter poll this morning. I did. So it looks like at last check, it was like 61%. Am I right mm. on the head? Yep. 61% yep. of people saying no when I asked, hey, airlines are now lifting mask policies after a federal judge struck it down. With this news, are you planning to drop your mask? And this has been consistent all morning long. People are saying no. I think it's a little sudden for a lot of folks. Right. This, this was a judge's ruling, which is com completely in their purview. But I don't think, you know, we heard from the federal government last week saying, hey, we're going to extend it two more weeks. And so randomly on a Monday or a Tuesday um, for this to all of a sudden come out, people are sort of like, oh, wait, wait, are, are you sure? 
<laughs> and then, right. and then, because we, we just literally, I just had a trending social hit. Was it last week about hey? Um, the federal mask mandate extended for airlines, for transit, and now this week we're coming back and saying, hey, this just happened. Are you going to drop your mask? Because you can now at this point. It's a weird so, time, too, because we're kind of talking about like the subvariant of the subvariant now coming back because for a while we weren't even really talking about COVID. It was more mm -hmm. like the Ukraine was the, the main attention. But now you're starting to see the numbers creep up and then this uh, news that you wouldn't have to wear a mask on the airplane. It's confusing times. But the good, greatest thing about this is you can wear a mask if you want to. Right. So it's just not going to be protected by the others. I still think that we're at the point that hopefully we picked up the mannerisms from all the pandemic, that yeah. you're washing your hands, that you're still being as safe as possible. Because, hey, it did keep us healthier. It did bring down flu numbers when all this was happening. So it's going to be, I think, a lot of back and forth because we threw the boulder in the water when it came to putting on the mask, right. taking them off, I think it's going to be the same. And then you just got to go ahead and know if you get on a flight or some transit situation, people are going to have them off. Yes. And people are comfortable with having them off. So if it works best for you just to keep yours on because you think otherwise, then just do that for you and your family. Danielle says, I can finally fly with my toddler. Um, it's been a big challenge trying to fly mm. with, with, with kids. Uh, Lori says, I will never stop wearing my mask. Um, echoing the sentiments of, of other people out there as well. Pamela was, I will still wear my mask. Joy, I will wear my mask. Um, and Melissa uh, continues, she posted earlier, my kids will still wear masks at school and will, uh, when we leave the house, COVID isn't done with, with us, even though I know we're all tired of COVID. Um, True. But there's the people who are, who are done with it and say, okay, enough, but um, everybody's had broad access to vaccines for over a year now. True. Um, and to boosters. And, and so boosters. If, if we're not going to move on, then when do we move on? Because at this point, th th there's... Is there. We've got, <laughs> we've taken every precaution. And, and so if you're, unless you're willing to say, okay, we're permanently masked, which I'm not sure too many people want to mm -hmm. say that. Right. Then what is your other threshold? Because everybody's gotten vaccinated who's going to get vaccinated. Right. And, you, you know, so I think, and can we talk about the flight attendants and what they put up with oh over gosh. the last uh, year hey. and a half? I mean, I think you've had something like 7,000 incidents in the skies. Um, I mean, we talked about them here on Wake Up Charlotte and just how, mm -hmm. and, and we've listened to them through interviews and hearing their voices of how they are tired and they're just trying to do their jobs and make sure everyone is safe. Exactly. Um, and and, I, and so I, I feel bad for them just because right. they, they have to work in these conditions and so many people have been hostile. Yeah. Um, unnecessarily so, Very I unnecessary. might add. But, Hopefully, at least for the flight attendants, this gives them a, a bit of a reprieve. For yeah, there's that. been yeah. assaults. There's been delays. Yeah. I feel uh, at one people point. Acting was, people, people acting crazy. Just say people acting crazy. People acting crazy. Yeah, it's true. It's, it's true. Don't sugarcoat it. Let's not sugarcoat it. Don't sugarcoat it. Because they are not. The flight attendants are not sugarcoating it no, at all. They, they what's going on? They don't have a choice. So let us know. Do you plan on wearing a mask even though it's no longer required every, every time you hop on a plane or a uh, train or anything else? Let us know. Continue to comment. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning for another edition of Wake Up Charlotte. Go.